Hi guys, welcome to Road Motorhomes at Gunthorpe and we're back again today with the Benimar Tesoro T487. Four berth, four belt motorhome, built on the popular two litre manual six speed turbo diesel Ford chassis, three and a half tons gross, seven metres long by 2.3 metres wide, Euro 6D and 170 brake horsepower. And let me tell you, moving this vehicle around on the forecourt, what a pleasure it is to be behind the wheel. So today I'm going to be going over some things in the videos, showing you key features of the motorhome and giving you a more up close and personal look from where you may be. So obviously first pointed out, we've got these nice alloys all the way around. They've been pictured on the photo file up close, so you can see a bit of good on the condition. Obviously mirrors all in great spec. We've got the daytime running LEDs around the front there as well. And obviously we've got the cruise control monitor on the front bumper. On the driver's side, we've got the water fill up. We also do have down towards the bottom, your wastewater emptying pipe. We've got a gas locker there as well. So obviously your water fill up and drain offs and gas all on one side. Nice and easy to use and nice and easy to remember. We've got this humongous garage space for the length of the vehicle at the back here as well. So at the moment we have got in here the Benimore bag from new, the spare wheel, toolkit, triangles, carpets for the internals, hook up lead, ladder for the drop down, full thermal cover windscreens, the, yeah, obviously the cab mats in the front as well. And these here on the left are what we're going to use to help build up that um, double bed in the front. And just above there as well, it doesn't end there, you've got this really ginormous space up top. So we can obviously have external gear, sporting equipment and everything here. And some bits that you want to keep separate so they might not get wet or mucky, we can put up at the top. So we can really split out what we put in the garage space and organise it neatly so it's easy to access. Rear LED tail lights, reverse camera up at the top. We do have the Fiamma bike rack brackets there ready to go. Going round to the near side, we've got another locker door that gets us into this garage space. It only gets us into the bottom half rather than the top, but just making life much easier to access all your bits and bobs without having to climb through your garage. Down from there, you'll see we've got the toilet cassette, and up top we've got this really nice full-length Fiamma F45S wind-out canopy, and you can just see the aerial just there as well, poking over the top of the roof. Looking down the side of the bodywork, looking at all the bumper corners, it's almost like out of the factory. Um, really nice piece of kit, again alloy wheels, really good condition, no big scrapes and chips or anything like that. Obviously we've got the new Truma combi system in this motor and we've got the boiler vent just there. And down to the side you'll notice we've got this barbecue point as well, just at the end of the awning. So obviously we can place the barbecue out to the left hand side so the heat from there isn't going to rise up and discolour or damage that awning. So without further ado then, let's take you inside. So inside the motorhome, we're going to be greeted straight away with this really large open lounge space, two absolutely ginormous sofas. You know, it, it, there's not really a comfier place to be. Um, you've obviously got the two-tone as well. We've got the leather at the bottom, the upholstery at the backs. Um, same carries through onto obviously the driver and passenger seat. But the sofas in here approximately nine foot in length on the right hand side and about six on the left, maybe something around that, uh, around that ballpark. So with the lounge, you will have seen from the full photo file, you can obviously make a bed on this bottom section here using the infills in the garage. And then just above, we've got this drop down as well. So we can actually drop down to either make a double bunk or we can just drop that bed all the way down with a touch of a button here. This bed just drops down off the battery. And obviously with gravity against us a little bit slower going up. We've got plenty of nice LED recessed lights in here as well. But if we wanted to use this as a two berth, we can drop this bed all the way down to this flat point here. So it's nice and easy to climb in and out of. Well, I say climb, it'll be lower than uh, yourself at that point. So really nice and easy. You'll also see on the photos that I've taken that we do actually have four passenger seats in this vehicle. So we've got the driver and the passenger in the cab. And then just down underneath here where you see this black winder, you can see the base of the seat there as well. And from the photos, you will see how to pick that up and obviously what kind of seating position you're going to get there. So obviously just confirming that four berth, four belt configuration. We've got the new Truma combi system in here. Obviously the usual Benimar control panel, really nice and easy to use. We've got TV capability in this lounge as well. Full length mirror with the LED bars on there as well. And then obviously from that point, we are into the kitchen. 
Now the kitchen, lots and lots of storage. I can't emphasize how much storage this Motram has got for four people, or for most people that will be using this as a two berth. I really can't. So you've got this on this side that obviously from the photo you've seen pulls all the way out. We've got various shelves in there for cooking utensils and ingredients. We've got a microwave up top for cooking. We've got the full separate freezer and fridge unit just here. So if I open that up for you, humongous amount of space in the fridge. And we've got that big, massive separate freezer there as well. So that's going to help us when we're on the road, making less stops at the shops. We can continue for a much longer period of time without having to fill up. Three ring gas up on the top then. Grill oven combi just down below. Mixer tap and basin unit. We've got some power there as well. 12 volt and 230 in the kitchen. You've got these different well, additional shelving units. We can put in and obviously we can choose where we want them to be. That's going to be best. We've got the extractor fan up there as well. And one up here. So there shouldn't be any lingering cooking smells. And you will notice these around the roof of the motor home, and that is your speaker system that's obviously connected to the new updated head unit they're doing in the Benny Mars now. Um, so that's all connected through, so we can play it throughout the motor home. But again, they did show you this on the photos, but just to emphasise, you've got all this kitchen storage up top here as well. And then once I show you into the washroom, if you haven't seen the photo file already, prepare to be amazed with the storage you're going to get in here. So when we enter, we do have the cassette toilet. Not many you get with this amount of leg room. I mean, I'm quite a tall gentleman, so I do need the leg room, and this for me will be absolutely perfect. We've got these various shelves down here for your toilet rolls and things you will need local to this area. We've got this beautiful vanity basin unit all the way up with the LED lights at the top. Some nice shelving units on the left. We've got the soap dispensers and the toothbrush holders there. And just below, you'll notice the sliding hatch, which is going to grant us access into the garage. It's one of them blistering windy days and rainy days. We don't even need to get out of the motor home to access the garage. One of the showpieces, this ginormous, large, separate shower cubicle then. We've got the two-tone colours in here. We've got the skylight. We've got the hanging rail. They've got this really nice circular ring around there as well. Just a bit of an added touch of class there as well and build quality. We've got the tinted doors. So if it did need to happen, someone can come in and use the toilet and while someone is in the shower. To reiterate on the storage then, the slide out rails there, perfect for your shampoo bottles to keep them out of your shower so they're not falling and cracking that shower tray. And then just in this cupboard here, we've got this really deep locker, storage at the bottom, trays that pull in and out for other various bits and bobs. It doesn't have to be uh, stuff you need for the bathroom. <clears throat> we can put clothes in here, we can put shoes in here. This one itself pulls all the way out, as you can see, almost all the way to the door over there. And it just means we can utilise this deep locker without having to reach over the toilet so we can bring the old locker out to us. So really accessible, we can line stuff up much neater, much tidier. And as we all know, the better you pack it, the more you're going to fit it in the threshold. So obviously a very spacious motor home, as you can tell, walking out from the bathroom, all you've got is this massive amount of floor space. Dare I say it, three people could pass each other at any given time in this area. Humongous amounts of natural light, as you can tell, there's no line there. You can see it pouring into the motor room. The lights are on. If I turn them off, it won't be making much of a difference to the amount of light we've got in here at this current moment in time. If I head towards the cab to finish off, obviously we've got the new updated head unit in here, as I was discussing. You've got DAB, satellite navigation on there. You can, the, the camera comes through there for the reverse parking, and then also we can connect the phone up to it, play Bluetooth through there. We've got the USB plugins and 12 volt charging points. Same again over the top, along with the radio isolator, so we're not flattening the battery, continuing the time through. Well, all the controls there for your cruise control and hands-free on the alternate side. Four cab lines all the way around. And just sitting here now, as you can probably see through the video, what a nice place to be sat. If you want to come out and uh, have a look at this motor home, I would advise it if it's something of interest. I say it again and again and again. To understand a motor home, you need to go and stand in it. Get a good feel for it. And I do believe standing in it... It's going to be, well, you're going to be very happy, put it that way. But any questions at all, you know, if we can advise you on anything, any questions on the vehicle, learn a bit more about it, let us know. One of the team will be back in touch to let you know all the answers to your questions. We've got the cutlery drawer in there, soft closing drawers as well. Various forms of storage that I've pictured for you guys so you can have a look at from where you are. But overall, a really, really nice place to be. I'd like to thank you for watching. And again, any questions, don't hesitate, get in touch. We're always happy to help where we can. Thank you for watching.